Hey guys, I'm Juliana Brosti, traveling jewels, and this is Italy. The Emilia Romagna region in northern Italy is quite the place. It seems like a dream. All the wine, cheese, pasta, and gelato you can imagine. This is the land of fast cars and pretty porticos. And art. Uh -huh. This is a lot of fun for anyone who loves puzzles. Come with me and explore the Emilia Romagna region of Italy. Plus, we'll sneak in a quick day trip to San Marino, one of the world's smallest countries. The adventure begins in the capital city. Bologna welcomes me with open arms as I'm calling this place my home for the next week. Among the constant buzz of music and merriment, why not kick things off in the center of all the action? All right, so these are the two towers, a famous landmark here in Bologna. You can tell from this angle that they are totally leaning. And the tallest one was actually made taller over time, and the short one was actually made shorter so that it would stay stable. There's only one way up and one way back down. Fun fact, the tower walls are actually thicker at the bottom than they are at the top. 400 steps. I'm glistening. <laughs> Final stretch. Ah, here we are. Whoa, that's cool. Bologna is huge. It's beautiful up here. You get a 360 panorama view of the city. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. What a beautiful place. It's also a delicious place. This region is well known for its food. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't get more authentic Hello. than this. When I was little, I had this wonderful apron that said, Juliana is the cook, but actually I'm not a great cook. I don't have time for cooking. So I am so excited to learn how to make pasta today because one, it's my favorite food, and two, it's very Italian. Today we're making two kinds of pasta, tagliatelle and tortellini. <laughs> yes, Juliana! We're making ragu, starting with a pancetta, which is really used as butter. We're adding half ground pork and half ground beef. So you've gotta have a dedicated wooden spoon, saves the flavor. And then we add red wine and milk. I'm surprised. The other secret of the ragu is the tomato sauce. Homemade tomato sauce, so it's gonna be a recipe very difficult to copy. Now, proper ragu will cook for five to six hours, and in the south of Italy, up to 10 or 11 hours. Mmm. It's smelling so good right now. Now it's time to focus on the pasta. Your fingers are the best tool in this business. How'd I do? Okay. That's good. <laughs> now we make a triangle. Take your pointer finger and you create a little ring around. Tortellini is actually made with your pinky finger, so tortellone is made with your pointer finger. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Bellissimo! Now we cook the pasta and plate it up. This looks so good. We made this? One of my favorite things to do is to take a new recipe home as a souvenir. You are the best! Limoncello! Cheers! Ah, cheers! Oh, salute! Mm. Now that we wet our appetite, I'm hungry for more. So today I'm in Parma. This is the home of Parmesan Reggiano. We have so many fun foodie things going on. Let's eat. First stop on the tour, we are visiting a real dairy. We are watching the production of Parmesan cheese. There is so much to look at. I've never been inside a dairy before. This is really interesting. So there are 300 pasificios, which are dairies that make Parmesan cheese in this area. You know what you call that block? Cheese block. <laughs> so the Parmesan cheese sits in this salt bath for 20 days. It is the most natural cheese in the world. This is the aging room. I wish I could do smell o -visions. There's a lot of activity going on in here. So this machine actually turns and spins the wheels of cheese. They do it about once a week so that the cheese doesn't grow any mold on it. The stamp of approval. Up next, the wine. Here you can see how they used to make wine back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. It's a lot like we saw on I Love Lucy, <laughs> stomping on the grapes. I'm just sitting down with Giuseppe from the Tomasetti family winery. 
fabulous. We have this beautiful spread here, so many things to taste. You know what's interesting is how much wine really changes depending on who's drinking it and what you're eating. It's really subjective. Now it's time to meet the king of cured meats. So right now we're on the farm. We're gonna learn a little bit about culatello. Culatello is the rear part of the pig, which is a more sweet and flavorful meat. It's even more fabulous and special than prosciutto. It's kind of stinky in here. The smell is ammonia. It comes from just the aging process. It's quite distinct. And the taste, indescribably delicious. Very flavorful. What a treat. Totally my new favorite food. You guys are never gonna believe this. I'm getting in a Lamborghini. What? This is the Huracan Super Trofeo. Super Trophy. Incredibly lightweight with impressive power. Quite the car for racing. I'm stoked. This area of Italy is known as Motor Valley, home to Lamborghini and a number of other famously fast cars. It's time to ride. Oh, hello, hello, mic check, mic check. Cool. You can even take a class and get behind the wheel or sit back and ride shoddy. Whoa! Our top speed, 230 kilometers, 142 miles an hour. Whew, that's no joke. Oh my gosh, that was such an adrenaline rush. I'm all smiles. This is your certificate, and that's a tiny present for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Next up, I'm headed to one of the world's smallest countries, completely surrounded by Italy. So it's an easy excursion from the Emilia-Romagna region. So I just arrived here in San Marino. We are headed right up there. Those views, wow. Get a little workout. Our legs. Everywhere you look, just gorgeous views. There are a lot of cool little pathways here in San Marino. Beautiful! So this is the Witch's Path and that's the second tower. This is the oldest and the, the highest of the three. The legend of right, we're here at the Parliament Building. So today, San Marino has the youngest president in the world, but they change presidents every six months, so that fact won't be true for long. <laughs> So San Marino is actually the oldest republic in the world, and it feels very old too. This thing, which we call in Italian Merlo, was used during days of war to protect yourself in case of attack, but also for shooting the enemies from this hole. And since San Marino is an independent country, you can get your passport stamped right here at the tourist board. I'm official. So right now we're gonna learn a little San Marinese tradition, the ancient art of flag waving. Ready? Like this. Oh, okay. So flag waving was a way to send messages back in the medieval days. Oh my God. Oh. Pretty fun. And a good workout for the biceps. You're great. <laughs> Thank you for the lesson. Thank you. I've greatly improved my flag waving skills today. After only being here a couple of hours, I can easily see why people fall in love with San Marino. Hello from Ravenna. This city is mad about mosaics. This is one of the few places where you can see Byzantine mosaics. So a mosaic is made of tiny, tiny pieces. Different than the Roman mosaics, Byzantine mosaics are very colorful and they're made of glass. So you'll often find them on the walls and up in the ceiling. To truly appreciate Ravenna's rich cultural heritage, I get some hands-on experience of this ancient tradition. I'm a storyteller. So we continue to work like the ancient. So right now I'm making a mosaic here at Coco Mosaic. 
the real deal. So they've put some concrete into this mold. Also, we've been busy cutting glass. Straight back. Woo! I practiced the technique and craft my souvenir. So now all we have to do is artistically find the perfect pieces and kind of fill in the blank. There's actually a mosaic school, so you can come here and really master the art of mosaic making. Isn't it cool? Yeah, I could totally stay here all day. But I've got a party to get back to in Bologna. A little jazz festival in the middle of a vineyard. It's just one of the many ways to enjoy the fruits of the area. I also recommend a picnic in the park. It is here where I begin my obsession with the sparkling red wine, Lambrusco. Salute. For some reason, everything just tastes better in Italy. Well, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Now, a trip to Italy would not be complete without this. All right, now we're headed to Gelato. What did you get? Brocaccia. This is nice, just like bread with uh, ice cream noodle. So many things to try. Mm. This delicious gelato looks amazing and it's melting so fast. Uh, <laughs> ah, I have it everywhere. Some dog is going to be very happy with all that I left on the floor. He loves it. Luckily, I managed to get a pretty big taste of Italy during my trip around the Emilia Romagna region. I'll definitely be back for seconds.